Hey guys, in this video we'll show you how to shoot with dry eyes, how to prepare for the shoot choosing the outfit, my camera settings, my light setup and at the end of the video we'll show you how much everything costed me. Before we start, first let's check the safety. The dry ice is carbon dioxide, which on room temperature slowly transforms into gas. It can cause you headache, you can start feeling sleepy or if you breathe too much of it you can lose conscious. So never transport the dry ice with you in the car, even if it's in the thermal box. Better put it in the trunk. The dry ice can cause some breathing problems. Make sure your model doesn't have asthma. And also make sure that there is enough fresh air in the room where you're shooting. The dry ice is very cold. Minus 70 degrees. Make sure you never touch it with bare hand. It can burn you. Now, let's see how everything works. When you place the dry ice in hot water, it produces a lot of smoke. If the water is cold, it will not work that good. So, better prepare a pot with hot water and place inside the dry ice. For my shoot, I used such pot which takes around 1 liter of hot water and inside I placed 1 ladle of dry ice. The dry ice is relatively inexpensive. For 12 euros, I bought 5 kg of dry ice and additionally I bought a thermal box for 7 euros. The best way to keep the dry ice is to use such thermal box. One very important tip, try to take the dry ice just few hours before your photo shoot because the dry ice slowly turns into gas. They say that you're losing around 20 to 30% of it for 24 hours, but my experience was worse. Just before the shoot I measured how much dry ice I have and from 5 kilograms I had only 2.6 kilograms and the dry ice stay with me only for around 20 hours. Also, the dry ice was somehow more active the first day. I tried it immediately after I took it and it was producing more smoke than on the second day. And due to that, I had to use more dry ice. For this shoot, I ordered mostly everything from Amazon. First item I order are black and white bridal corsets. They're extremely cheap. Each one costs around 13 euros and they're extremely good and they look awesome. The second item I order are black and white tulle skirts. They fit perfectly with the corsets and the combination of two of them is amazing. For the black look we ordered very nice inexpensive necklace. It costed me around 5 euros. For the snow white look I used peacock crown which I built by myself for my previous shoot Bird in a Cage. If you're curious how I did it and how much it costed me, don't forget to check that video, it's in my playlist. That's all for the outfits, let's see how I prepared the set. For this shoot it's very important to build a cage so the smoke doesn't run away. I built mine from old boxes and duct tape. On the floor I put a fitness mat so it's more comfortable for the model to lay and I cover the floor with a black backdrop material which I ordered from Amazon for only 16 euros. Before the shoot we have to do the hair and the makeup. They took around 2 hours. This time is perfect to play with your lights to find the best place for them. Now let's check all the gear I used for that shoot. I'm shooting with Nikon D750 and I used two lenses. 50mm 1.8 and 85mm 1.8. I'm shooting with three speed lights. I'm using Young New O. I have them for already three years and I'm extremely happy with them. They costed me only 60 euros a piece. For my main light I use two speed lights with umbrella and for my fill light I use a softbox. With that setup I put the speed lights to 1 16th of the power. That grants me very fast recharging time and I don't have to wait for them to recharge. I just shoot one picture after another, it's very fast. My camera settings were shutter speed 1 200th of a second, aperture 5.6 and ISO 320. I shoot with ISO 320 because I lower the power of my speed lights. The smoke to be even, we use 4 sources. I have 4 pots filled with hot water in which we drop the dry ice. When you put the dry ice you have 20 to 30 seconds of perfect smoke. And after that the smoke is fading away. That is why it's very important to have somebody to help you with that shoot. You stay in position ready to shoot while your assistant is putting the dry ice in the water. Without assistant it will be very hard for you to put the dry ice and to run to shoot. 2.6 kg of dry ice were enough to do 6 shoots. 
I was very restricted. I couldn't experiment because we had only 6 tries and each try was for around 30 to 50 seconds. Because we were so restricted, we trained the poses with the model in advance without the smoke. That allowed us to produce amazing images in all 6 tries. We did two looks, black and white. First we showed three different poses with the black look and when we checked the images on the camera we were pretty happy with the result. And we knew that we have only two or three times more, so we decided to experiment. In the beginning I had doubts about the white look. White smoke and white clothes didn't look promising. I thought there will be not enough contrast, but I was completely wrong. The Snow White look turned to be my favorite. The pictures were so amazing and also the makeup looked so nice. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe because in the next video I'll show you how I photoshopped the images from that shoot. Now let's calculate how much everything costed me. 18 euros for the dry eyes, 120 euros for outfit, 16 euros for backdrop. So in total I spent around 150 euros for that shoot. Let's see the resultant, was it worth it?